Hello and welcome to Empire of War Games. My name is Eplash and today we are going to try and predict the 2022 Age of Sigma Battle Forces. If you enjoy the content, consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribing, as well as checking the links down in the description below if you want to support what I do. So as every year we are going to have a fun little prediction video round and we are going to talk about Age of Sigma and Warhammer 40,000 predictions for the battle forces. The battle forces are usually a big happening. A lot of people are super excited for them. It's the best way to get into the hobby for a good price. You're going to get a huge army to start with, usually between 500 and 1000 points. And it is going to be a great thing to look at once we'll see what those boxes contain. But until then, we are going to have to talk predictions and talk a little bit about what could be possible as far as battle forces go. First up, before we go into the actual predictions, let's talk a little bit about dates. The battle forces are usually announced at the very end of November and they are going to release during December, usually in the beginning, but GW is usually also cutting it very, very close when it comes to Christmas and all that kind of stuff. A lot of people only receive their battle forces after Christmas. So yeah, I hope there's going to be a little bit earlier this year and they are going to go on pre-order in November and then they properly release in December. That would be the ideal scenario because last year was very, very close. But enough of the kind of speculative dates. Let's go into concrete dates. But they are still predictions, so keep that in mind. If I had to give you kind of concrete dates when everything is going to happen, it's probably going to be the 19th of November and that is going to take place with the announcement over on the Warhammer community website where GW is just going to show off every combo patrol box for Age of Sigma and Warhammer 40,000. And that is that. And then pre-orders are going to start during December 3rd. And then the actual release is going to take place on the 10th of December, which is, as I said, cutting it really close when it comes to Christmas and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that is how GW has handled it over the past years. So I don't think there is going to change a lot here unless GW has kind of figured out their release schedule ever since COVID started because everything is kind of pushed back a little bit. But yeah, I just think that this is the most realistic course of action for GW here. Now with all of the dates out of the way, let's talk a little bit about the 2021 Age of Sigma Battle Forces to get a little bit of an inspiration and idea what could await us this year. The first box I wanted to talk about is the Soulbright Grave Lords box, the Revenant Legion, and this one sold out within minutes and it rightfully did. Because this box is just insane. The model number count is crazy high. The savings were great. And it's just a, an amazing start to play the Soul Black Grave Lords. I also think that it sold out because it's a great start for a competitive army. Or at least it has been um, last year. But yeah. Other than that, we had the Hidden Knights of Slanesh. Which was also a great box. You can still buy it at least in my area in Germany. Um, but yeah, I don't think that this one sold out very quickly. Uh, yeah, D just Hidden Knights of Slanesh are not nearly as popular as Soul Black Grave Lords. And the box was nearly comparable when it comes to model count, to savings or competitiveness um, in general. And the same thing applies to the Lumineth Realm Lords. The Lumineth Realm Lords had a great little box with a lot of unit variety and a lot of kind of more specialist kind of units. And it was a fun little box, but it wasn't nearly enough when it comes to the points in there and kind of a little bit of the competitiveness of the units as well. But now that the Lumineth Remnants are getting a third codex, I think within three years, uh, I don't know. Uh, this box might improve or it might not, but the box itself back in the day wasn't that great. And last but not least, we have the Osiak Bone Reapers, which have been suffering with their current battle tome, but... Yeah, the box was great as well. I think it was um, kind of on second place right after the Soul Black Grave Lords. It had a lot of models, a lot of points. Soul Black Grave Lords are not usually discounted. They don't have a Vanguard box. They never had a Star Collecting. And thus, this box was great all in all. And now that we look at them, you might notice that there is not a single destruction kind of battle force, but there are two death battle forces. The year before that, we had a death battle force and two destruction battle forces. It was weird. Kind of Age of Sigma is all over the place. And I really think GW should update kind of their count of battle force boxes for Age of Sigma to five at least. 
because there are just four main factions and I think every single faction of these should get covered every single year and with one box and if you add a fifth one you could kind of feature one twice and then rotate every year so you get two kind of uh, destruction um, this year and then next year you get two um, order while every other kind of major faction still gets one every year no matter what this way it was a little bit frustrating for kind of destruction players and yeah it, it is what it is now do i think gw is going to up the box count this year for age of sigmar i personally don't think so i think um, age of sigmar would need a massive influx of players to warrant that for gw i think they're kind of measuring everything they do when it comes to 40k versus age of sigmar to player count and i don't see that happening just yet an event that could for example trigger that kind of thing would be a total war warhammer age of sigmar game or just a massively successful video game or movie or that kind of stuff but as it stands i don't see them upping the number count of the boxes just yet next i wanted to quickly address the rumors around the battle forces for this year they are a little bit light for Age of Sigmar, uh, specifically compared to Warhammer 40,000. There's not a lot of stuff that has been said, even in rumors, where people are just, I don't know, pulling things out of thin air. But yeah, all we've heard is that they are going to stick with four boxes, that every box is going to be probably a little bit more expensive, around five pounds or something, and that we are going to see armies that we usually would not ever expect to see receive battle forces and i've said that whenever i covered the rumors that i don't know maybe sons of behemoth are going to get a box who knows that is definitely an army that no one would expect to get a box but i also don't know if that's quite possible with savings and everything in mind lastly are these boxes going to focus on a specific theme the warhammer 40,000 rumors said that all of the boxes are going to focus around a character and I can absolutely see the same thing happening for Age of Sigmar. It would be a cool little concept. Although those characters then make buying these boxes multiple times a little bit less viable. Especially if it's a big character that costs upwards of £40. At that point, you're probably going to stick with buying one box. Which is exactly what GW wants, by the way. And yeah, but we are going to have to wait and see. I personally prefer boxes they do not contain named characters but it just makes too much sense for GW to include them all right so here are my predictions for the 2022 age of sigma battle forces the first one would be stormcast eternals which is very boring i admit that it is a very boring pick but it is also a safe pick and it's very likely that it is going to happen especially considering that we didn't get a stormcast eternal battle force for quite a while We've received them in a starter set, in a Dominion starter set, and I think that is now old enough that it warrants a battle force with all new models, with all the Thunderstrike armor models for GW. I think that is going to happen. I think that would be a cool box, and I think it would make sense. The second box would be Maggotkin of Nurgle. Their battle tome is also a little bit older now. They've released first, and they are the army that received their Vanguard box first. So... It is the army with the first Vanguard box ever. And I think offering a cool battle force for the battle tome they have currently with just units that everyone needs, especially new players that want to start that specific army, would be a great way to introduce them into the army or to motivate someone to start Maggotkin of Nurgle, especially considering they have their new battle tome. And basically the same applies to the Oruk Warclans. The Oruk Warclans have a new battle tome. They were in the Dominion box together with the Stormcast Eternals. And they are a destruction army I can absolutely see receiving a battle force. It would just make a lot of sense considering that they could build a Path to Glory army in there. That would just be a cool little start for new players. I think their last kind of box set was old enough or lies in the past for quite a while. And it was also very specified on cool boys. While I think a battle force would be more focus on all the other orc sub factions and less on cool boys and yeah i just think orc war clans would make sense and it would be one of the two destruction forces this year with the other ones being the sons of behemoth i don't think that the rumors are right and i also think that the rumors are just 
putting things out of thin air. But I really, really like the idea of a Sons of Behemoth kind of battle force. It would be interesting if GW could pull that off. I really don't think they can, but it would be a really, really cool battle force to see, even though it just contains two or three model models at best. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see. That one is obviously very out there, and the likelihood of that being a battle force is going towards zero, but it's not quite zero yet. And next up, we have a couple of runner-ups as well that I wanted to mention just because I think it is very likely that these might be featured in the 2022 battle forces. The first one, for order instead of Stormcast Eternals, would be the Sylvaneth. I think they have gotten a lot of new models. I think their refresh was successful. I think their battle tome is great. And yeah, all in all, it's a great looking army that could make use of a cool battle force as a start for a lot of people to collect them. And the same thing applies to the Nighthound as well. They have their new battle tome, they have a cool army, and I think it would make sense to feature them as well. Now, I didn't put the Nighthound as one of my four predictions because the Nighthound have been featured very, very heavily with their battle tome, with their Vanguard box, and they were in a two-player battle box against Daughters of Cain. So they have received a lot of discount boxes or two-player battle boxes, and thus I think they are not quite that likely to get featured this year. And lastly, I wanted to feature the Blades of Corn, which were also part at the very beginning of the first two-player battle box and the starter set basically for Age of Sigmar in general, and after that they have been forgotten. And I think they would do very well with a battle force, even though they do not have their battle tome yet, and I think that kind of rules them out, but it would be really cool to see. So yeah, predicting this year is incredibly difficult. The rumors are more confusing and very unreliable compared to past years. GW is not giving anything away just yet, and it is still approximately a month to go before we are going to get anything official from Warhammer and GW and the Warhammer community website. Other than that, there are only four boxes for Age of Sigma, despite the massive number of factions, which also makes predicting this whole thing way more difficult. And yeah, I am hoping that they are going to move away from kind of not featuring one of the bigger factions like Destruction or Order, and instead giving one box to each bigger faction if they are going to stick with just four battle forces for Age of Sigmar each year. So yeah, that is it. Those are my predictions. If you have any ideas of your own, anything you would like to see, anything you hope for, let me know in the comments below. I would really like to read your ideas and discuss them there. Other than that, I hope this was insightful and fun, and I hope to see you in the next video as well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.